Hey everyone, it's Dryson from Dennis Kirk. Now today we're taking a two-step tutorial to show you guys how to measure for the new bars to go on your motorcycle. The first step is going to take a quick look to measure what the bars you already have. That way you have a general idea of where to go from. And the second step, we're going to have you on the bike measuring exactly what you're looking for for a custom fit. Now, in order to start out with anything here, I want to introduce the three major types of bars. We have here the T-bars, which are designed like that or called like that because, well, they make a giant T. We have the clip-ons, which very quick, simply, they clip onto the front forks, they go on all the front controls will go right there, very aggressive. This is great for the cafe racers, or if you're looking for a very aggressive look and very aggressive feel to your motorcycle. And then, of course, we have probably the most popular, what we call a standard or an ape hanger. Now these are called ape hangers because all the guys that are hanging around look like apes. Now that we've explained the three major types of bars, we're gonna go ahead and jump in to show you how to measure, starting with the ape hangers here. Now we're taking a look at the ape hangers. There are five main measurement points that we wanna make sure we pay attention to. We have our center width, which is where the bar starts to bend to the bar starts to bend right in the center here. We have our overall width, which is from the outsides to the outsides. We have our inside rise, which is from the top of the bend here to the floor. We have our end rise, which is from where the back of the bar ends to the floor again. And then we have our pullback length, which is from the, from the beginning of the bar out here. Now the easiest way to measure this because there's so many different angles to take the guesswork out of it is simply take a wall, a block, anything that's not going to move and makes a 90 degree angle, just set it up right up against it. Now what this is going to do, this is going to take a lot of the guesswork out of it. It's going to make it very simple, very easy to touch everything. So we'll just jump right in and start measuring. Now the first measurement I'm going to get is going to be our end width, our overall width. Now it might not be a bad idea to help have a friend help you out here, that way you can measure without anything moving around. In this case, these bars here measure in at right at 27 inches across. So that means from the center of this piece to the center of that piece is 27 even, inches even. Now the second one I'm going to measure is our center width. Now make sure you do are writing these down. Our center width here like I said, from the bar bends to the bar bends. On this one, it comes in at eight and a quarter inches. Now, do keep in mind that you want to be as exact as possible because if your motorcycle here has an opening or has a triple tree or a clamp that runs eight and a half inches, this one's not going to quite fit because of that extra bend in there when it starts to bend. So make sure you have enough extra play, but you don't have too much that it's going to be sticking out and looking funny on the end. So we have our end width, we have our center width. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to our pullback length. And like I said, the pullback is from the front of the bars to how far back they come. Now on these bars, all we have to do is measure up against the wall here to the center of the pipe. And on these bars, it looks like it comes out to right at seven and a quarter inches. So that means that these bars pull back an extra seven inches for clearance. Now moving on, we are going to go to our inside rise, which is from the floor up to the bend of the bars right here. And that comes in right at looks like nine and a quarter, nine and a quarter tall. And we want to do our end rise because these bars do come up and they bend back down. So our end rise on this pipe, on these bars are, I can't see it from that angle. Eight and a quarter inches is what it looks like here. So all right, we've gone ahead and we've gotten our five main measurements. Set this down here real quick. We've gotten our five main, five main measurements, our end width, our overall width, our inside width, our center width, our height and rise, our rise, and our pullback length. So those are the five major points to know what we need to have or what your bars already are. That way, if you're looking for a bar that's an extra inch taller, you know how to order them. Or if you want an inch down here in the end, you know how to order them now. So that's, gonna, that's done. We've gone ahead and we've measured these bars. Let's move on to the T-bars. Now, just like the ape hangers or standard bars, these are going to have a five-point measurement system. We have our rise, we have our center width, our end width, our end rise, and our pullback distance. So once again, the simplest thing to do and the easiest way to measure is just to set it right up tight against a wall or anything like that. Now let's just go ahead and grab our tape measure once again. And once again, it's not a bad idea to have a friend here to help you out with this, just to hold everything in place. Now let's go ahead and just measure, starting here again, our end width, our overall width. Now on this bar, looks like our center width from, end, from center of that end to the center of this end is right at 30 and a half inches. So these are considerably larger than the other bars. Now we have our end, our overall width. Let's take a look at our center width here. And once again, just from where the bar starts to bend to where the bar starts to bend. And on this bar bike, it's right at, 
I'll put my tape measure will bend in there, right at nine inches. So once again, a little bit bigger than the other bar as well. Now for our rise, just wanna go from there to the center. And on this one, looks like it's right at 10 and a half inches on this pipe here, or this bar here. And on our end rise, because these actually flare up and make it higher, our end rise on here are 13 and a half inches. And then our pullback distance, which I'm actually gonna slide us down just a little bit farther here. Our pullback distance, it's right at five and three quarters of an inch. So that's all it takes to measure a T-bar, just like an ape hanger. Once again, we have our rise, we have our overall width, our center width, our pullback, and our end rise. Five points of measurement, and once you have those, you can adjust to find out what exactly you want to replace the bars that are already on your bike. So we've talked about how to measure your ape hangers, we've talked about how to measure your T-bars, but what about clip-ons? Well, clip-ons are probably the easiest of all three types to be able to measure. All you have to do is take a caliber to your front forks, measure the overall diameter across the fork itself in millimeters, and that's gonna be your, your size you're gonna need here. Very simple to install. All they do is clip right onto the forks themselves. You're ready to rock. Now, I do wanna mention that not all bars are the same. Now, obviously, we have T-bars and clip-ons and, and ape hangers here, but that's not quite what I'm talking about. We're gonna take a look at these Roland Sand Designs uh, off-road style bar, bars. If you take a look right in the middle here, if you look very close, you can see these have like a rough edge in the center here. Now what that means is that these are knurled bars. These are designed that once they're in the clamp, the clamp itself is going to hold these a little tighter than maybe something other traditional. But a big thing you want to keep an eye out for is to make sure that this knurled distance across is smaller than the overall clamp distance. Now on these bars it probably wouldn't be quite as big as a deal, but some bars actually are cut through the paint or actually have these in bright chrome. So if they're not quite in the direct center or if they're not hidden underneath the clamps, they're gonna be quite the eyesore. So once again, when you're measuring, just make sure that your clamp distance is greater than a neural distance if you're ordering a set of neural bars. Now another thing that I wanna show you is the difference between dimpled and drilled. Now dimpled means that there's little dimples on each side of the bar and that's gonna allow room for clearance for your cables, your wiring, whatever you're running underneath here to be put underneath everything without getting pinched. Another style is called drilled or drilled for internal wiring. Now what that is, that's actually a hole, goes right in the center here, comes right at the base, and that means that everything's gonna be run inside, it's gonna be a very clean look, a little bit more harder to do, but it's not bad. So, just make, make, just make sure that when you're ordering your bars and you know what you're looking for, that you order exactly what you're looking for. Now, many, many T-bars are dimpled, many Clubman bars or Ace bars or ape hangers are also drilled as well. So it does go back and forth. One other thing that I wanna talk about is when you guys are ordering off the Dennis Kirk website, especially for T-bars, make sure that you do search under by make, model, and gear. What that's gonna allow you to do is if you're ordering a set of T-bars, they're gonna make sure that these holes are gonna line up exactly. Most of these are three, three and a half inches across, where others can be much greater up to five inches across, all depending on the make, model, your ride. So if you guys are ordering from the Dennis Kirk website, just make sure you order ones that are gonna fit without a problem at all. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about is that there are many other styles of bars. So make sure that when you guys are ordering, you know exactly what you're ordering for. If you're look, looking for a broomstick, drag bars, anything else like a clubman, aceman, ace bar, whatever the look that you're looking for, just make sure you guys do some browsing for the exact look that you want and the feel that you're looking as well. Now, this concludes part one about how to measure these three types of bars. We are gonna go ahead and watch video number two click here to check it out, and that's going to show you how to measure for custom bars on your motorcycle. For more information on the products featured here, please head to our website, DennisKirk.com.